Hello, Highway Exterminator Girl here. Looks like our freeze dryer here is complete. So, let me show you what the steps are now when a load is done and we're ready to take it out. Go back here, you can't really see there's a drain valve. Gotta open the drain valve, the air goes in the tube, releases the vacuum. You can see this seal there. There we go. And then we can start taking the trays out. I generally just take them out a little bit, make sure they're done. And I'm really feeling for any coldness on because the trays at this point are very warm still so it's the heaters at uh, 126 but they're as long as they you know crust off and the blueberries are done now I had to add more time to this one because the blueberries weren't done um, the well I'll take this all to the kitchen table and show you so now I have the food out sitting on the kitchen table and on the freeze dryer you can see the ice those are big ice rings that's all the water from the food it's all the way up around the chamber so now what you want to do is you go to the defrost move product and then we close the chamber door and let it run and what that'll do is that'll heat it up in there and get everything clean and then make sure that your tube is somewhere to catch the water because the water will come out of that tube so you don't want to make a big mess wherever you have your freeze dryer sitting so if you remember from my last video we had blueberries and uh, just want to make sure that they're you know not they're hard and they kind of like just crunch they're not you know gooey at all on um, let's see that one just like completely shattered and that's how you know they're done and then the celery very dry no wet can hear it and it too is just gonna kind of crumble if you squeeze it The cilantro, remember this I had previously frozen, and this was uh, fresh cilantro, and it too should just really crumble, and both of them very just flaky. Now I will um, just crumble that up and put them in jars. Again, the celery, very good. The radishes, again, very dry. I'm going to break and try this one. Mm, very good. Remember we had the ham. We put the ham in uh, the towels to help absorb the, the grease, the fat from them. They're very dry. They're like um, potato chips, that spiral ham. And uh, tastes very good. I already tried the beast. But... Now meat, meat is a cool one. Uh, meat will only reabsorb what water it originally had. So you can't over rehydrate meat. So I can stick this in a bowl of water and leave it for 10 minutes in hot water. Come back, pat it dry on a paper towel and then put it on a sandwich. And it'll taste as good as it did when we first cooked the ham and then last what we got here it's kind of yellow looking this is that sour cream and as you can see most liquids just turn into a powder that's why I put it on the wax paper and to check for dryness here any large chunks or anything you just want to kind of feel for wetness or anything now this is like I said it's done because it's just powderizing very nicely very nice powder and uh, then 
to rehydrate that, you know, you add water until you get the thickness that you want, or you can add it to soups to make a creamier soup, um, which is more what I'm going to use it for on the truck is to like throw in the crock pot and help make cream soups. Anything that you put sour cream in. You can re rehydrate it to a proper sour cream consistency and maybe later I'll do a video on rehydrating different things. Now uh, this all except for the meat. The meat anything super high in protein has to go in a mylar bag because um, it can't be exposed to light. It will break down and it will even you know end up going bad quicker. But everything else we're gonna just stick in to um, these ball jars, these canning jars. And we're not gonna can it, we're gonna seal it. And how that works is once um, once we get everything in, I have a sealer that atta uh, an attachment that hooks to the seal -a meal. So let me get this all packaged up and I'll show you that. One thing I like to do if I'm not going to seal it for like taking it on the truck with us is get these dry and dry desket packets and because I'll be getting into like this one so I put the sour cream into this one will stay at home um, and, I'll, and I'll seal it up. This one I plan on taking on the truck for us. Um, so I just take one of these and I wiggle it down in there and uh, then I put the lid on, put the ring on, and it's good to go on the truck. And then I'll, we can have sour cream. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's in there. The desiccants in there help keep it dry and keep moisture and we can't really seal these on the truck we do take a lot of the mylar bags but these because of the elevation change um even if we were to vacuum it we're in idaho so when we go to a lower elevation they'd seal seal down real tight but when we go somewhere like wyoming with a higher elevation you know, like potato chip bags get full of air. Well, the same thing would happen too. Here too. This would pop up and it would no longer be sealed. So we just, as an extra precaution, put the desk in, back it in there and we don't have to worry about it. Do it with onions, cilantro, anything we're going to frequently be getting into. This one, however, because it's going to stay at home, this is the attachment I was talking about. You can get them at like Bimart, Walmart. Um, they got a seal there, and then you put the lid on, and this one doesn't have a desiccate packet or anything in it. You just put this on like that, and then you take an attachment, let's put it over here real quick, to just a food saver, the little attachment piece. I'm not going to run it because it's super loud. And then you just put that attachment piece right in there. Seal it up. And it'll shut off when all the air's out. And then you pull that cap off and it's sealed. So This is really hard one-handed. Okay. There you have it. I did it anyway. So, um... Now this is all sealed. It's not going to come off. See? So I will put a label on it with the, with the day. And then the nice thing about doing this is you can actually pop these off with a spoon. You get a spoon right in that crack there. And uh, twist a little bit. And it will give this, or if you're strong like my husband, just sticking your nails under there and pulling. Um, and then to get it off, and then you can really use these lids. So that's a nice little thing. But there you go. There's some sour cream. 
So I'm going to go get the rest of this packaged up. And I hope you'll join me next time. This is Highway Exterminator Girl. And this is just odds and ends. Freeze drying food that uh, would have gone bad. Now we have it for longer and we have it to take on the truck. So thanks again for watching. See you next time.